Let's start from deleting all the objects from our default scene and loading background image that we will use as a, a reference for uh, our pattern. Okay, so it's a, it's a classical Art Deco, uh, 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 Art Deco uh, texture, and let's start from adding. A circle. I will try to place it as precise as possible uh, according to uh, my background image. Uh, I will just fill it with one face and add RI modifier using constant offset. Now, by tweaking uh, the x, va x value, I will just try to create. Uh, duplicates of my uh, object so that they will uh, create the whole pattern uh, horizontally. Okay, I think that 1.9 is good enough. Now I will add another uh, array modifier. Again I will use constant offset, uh, but this time I will use half of this x value so it's going to be 0.95 uh, and I will change the value on y axis okay perhaps this one will be just fine I will add some other another duplicates just to make sure that the pattern is good enough okay some tweaking needs to be made yeah I think it looks uh, fairly nice. Now I will duplicate this object and put it into my second layer and I will apply my array modifiers for the first uh, for, for my original model. I will delete all the circles except the first three. Okay, I, I think I did not move my duplicate to another layer. Okay, now I will just um, try to create uh, to recreate those uh, stripes from the background image, but only for the first one of the uh, three circles, just like this. Uh, a little bit scaling and I will just se select all the faces and delete them so that it will look just fine. Now I will select all my faces from those three circles and I will give them some thickness. Now I, I will separate those two cylinders and I will just scale them on Z axis so that they will be even thicker than my uh, rings. Okay, now time to copy the name of the object. So I, I will use Ctrl C uh, command and use Boolean modifier for my rings. I will place the name of my two cylinders in the object, and uh, this way I can just cut out the shape that I really need for for my tutorial. Okay, now I will place this shape exactly when my first cir uh, circle was made right at the beginning of my uh, video clip and I will just use snapping to be as precise as possible. Now I will place the center of geometry right where the center of the first circle was located and I will copy mesh data for that circle so that the circle would change its shape to those cutout rings. And there you go, we've got this Art Deco shape that is, well, for now, three-dimensional. So, how to make a texture out of it? I will just add a plane and I will locate its sides right where the seamless uh, the, uh, the uh, seamless pattern happens, so right at the edges of my te future seamless texture. Okay, as you can see, I am using snapping to vertex. Uh, 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 that is extremely helpful here. Okay, so I will 
find the exactly same spot down below and there you go now time to unwrap this plane so I will go to UV image editor and I will just use project from view bounce and I will add another uh, new uh, 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 image uh, black one okay time to put my plane somewhere in the middle of the, those uh, uh, rings I will just make them white and I will make my plane pure black time to go to render options uh, I will select rings then plane and use textures from baking menu and select select uh, uh, and I will select selected to active and there you go after pressing bake button I end up with this texture that it's now baked okay to make sure that it's really seamless I will add array modifier to my plane and as you can see it creates this Art Deco pattern horizontally and vertically so it's perfect uh, the only thing that is now left to do is well save your pattern just find a right place on your hard disk and use it as a mask or texture or anything else that you will need in your projects I hope you will find this uh, technique useful for me sometimes it's way better to do something in Blender than in Photoshop and, or any other two-dimensional software so take care and happy blending